Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and I wonder how many times we're going to do this opening from this very same side of Grace. Probably a lot. <laughs> we're still in Stormvale Castle. I think we're actually going to take a break from it and head out into the open world, do a little bit of exploration there, hopefully some leveling up, especially of our items. But as always, here are my stats. Hasn't changed in, I don't know, three or four episodes at this point. Level 19, started as an astrologer. I have found some really cool items. Um, one thing I want to take a look at, though, is my ashes of war so we did buy a few from sorcerer roger even though he didn't sell any sorceries which was a shame but i'm thinking hmm do i want ah <sighs> do i want a <laughs> glintstone pebble or a carrion greatsword i don't know Oh, look at that. Ooh, it does take down your physical damage pretty significantly. Does it add magical? All right, so let's see. The attack power says I now have physical and magic, but I'm thinking that the magic is only with the sorcery, so maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe that's not the right move. Oh, I don't know. Oh, but I kind of do. I kind of do. I think that'd be fun. So does that mean... Yeah, so this goes from square... Oh, and I like square off, though. That's the problem, too. Square off is actually a really good skill. It costs 8 FP. It's actually kind of confusing. So let's see. What does 6 and 8 mean? Okay, maybe 8 for casting Glintstone Pebble, 4 for the follow-up. That actually could be really, really useful. So let's do it. Let's try it. What? Oh. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh! Now I'm getting it. So when you do an Ash of War, you also get the a chance to infuse with a different affinity. So by default, it wants me to do magic. So I would do split magic damage, which actually is might not be bad. It seems like a lot is weak to magic. But I could also do quality, which would not benefit me. I could do keen, which would not quite benefit me. Just looking at the total overall damage. Um, I could actually leave it as standard, which is uh, interesting. Now, can I undo this at any time? I'm kind of thinking I might actually make it magic. Because if you look at the total AR, the total AR would be, uh, let's see, 174, 184, 185. So it's a total AR attack rating of 185 compared to the 137 that I have right now. Now, you have to go through two defenses now. So it may not be a true 185, but it seems like maybe that's not a bad idea. Now, if I go back to that, um, you can undo it. You absolutely can undo it. And it's free. Oh my goodness gracious, at any time... You can just, this is fantastic. This is great. This is so much fun. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to put on. Now, if I take this away, okay, it does remove it. So it's not, you do have to have multiples in order to do it on multiple items, which is fine. But I think, yeah, we'll try that and just see how that looks. All right. I know I said we we're going to be going to round table hold. We are. We are. But first, we need to check these out. So, now, the other thing is, though, I would like to have a shield that had no no skill, like the Marred Leather Shield. Or the Banished Knight, but that's too heavy. So, let's go to the Marred Leather Shield, and... Okay, you can't chain it like you can the Glintstone Staff, but let's try this. And the follow-up? Oh, that's a nice long-range thrust. A really long range thrust. Alright, and how about the carrying greatsword? Slow, but beautiful. Now there's no follow-up to that, I don't think. No, there's not. Okay, that's pretty cool though. That's I would dare say very cool. So yes, let's go and head to round table hold. And I want to see if I can give that book of incantations 
because I would love to learn Black Flame. Now, I know I don't have the, the runes for it. And uh, I would be lying if I said I knew who it went to. Probably you. Yeah, because you got the seal. Ah, you were willing. And I can give a prayer book. Perfect. That is a work of heresy. Its incantations bear no lineage from the earth tree. Very well. I'll take it off your hands. And let's see. Ooh, expensive. And it does take 17 faith, so that's 10 more faith than I have. But look at that. I mean, it just looks so cool. After dealing damage, it continues to sap foes HP for a very short time. Okay. A little damage over time. May the golden order shine. Okay. Well, that's cool. So we, we did that. I don't think there's really anything else for me to do here. Where do we want to head? Like I said in the last episode, and I think at the beginning of this one, we are just going to kind of go out into the world. So we're going to leave Stormvale Castle. Gosh, I have so many of these already. Oh, so this is to go back. Now, oh, wait a minute. Hmm. No, I don't want to go to Storm Hill. Let's go to... Let's just actually go to the Church of Ella. Let's go to the Church of Ella. That seems to be a good starting place. And, yeah, let's just go and see what we can get ourselves into. There's Santa over there. You know, should I take on the Tree Sentinel again? Now that I have... Oh, and I can bring summons this time. Yeah, we're taking them on. Yeah, we're taking them on. Here we go. All right. That's the wrong weapon art. That's the wrong weapon altogether. You guys aren't doing that much damage, but that's okay. I love you anyway. Um, he's, he's actually not doing too much damage to them, which is nice. Oh, that's bad. I would love to actually... I don't know if you can break his guard. Uh-oh. Oh, one of my imps is dead and so am I. But we got him to almost half. I think we can get this. I think we can get this. Just play a little less terribly. And at least we're right here. I mean, it's it's absolutely no... Now, actually, do we want to do the imps or should we do... That's two imps. There's three... I mean, I could do some cheap nobering, noble... Ugh, wandering nobles. I doubt they're going to be any good, but... I want to give them a try. I also could try and bleed him. Get my mace out. They're so slow. <laughs> Distract them. Distract them, folks. Oh my gosh, this is a terrible idea. They're doing five damage, and they're just going to die so quick. And so am I. 52 damage is the total. Um, imps may be the best bet. I might try the jellyfish just because that's hilarious. Hmm. But I think we can take him down and maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll get something good out of it. So let's try switching that out for <laughs> a jellyfish. Yep. Absolutely. And yeah, let's keep the straight sword, but let's put on, oh, I'm at heavy load, by the way. So let's put on... Let's just try the mace just to see if I can get a bleed to proc. I mean, he's got some heavy armor. That can often mean that it's going to have some really, really high bleed resistance. But we'll try it. But also, there's no reason to be using the shield if I'm going to be using the mace. 
Look at that jellyfish. That's hilarious. Did he just do one damage? What did you just do to him? Back up, back up. Oh, hey. That Come on, jellyfish. I'm gonna double heal that. Yes, go back to jelly. Oh, jelly's almost dead. Well, <laughs> can I resummon? No. Oh, I'm heavy. Ah, oh, rats, okay. I don't think that's what made the difference, but... Okay. Um, let's get uh, the that off. So at least I can fast roll. And actually, staying close is not that bad. I would love to see a bleed proc. Actually, stay close is definitely key. Whoa! Come on, man. What did the church ever do to you? Let's back up. All right. Actually, staying close is working really nicely. He's just felling all the trees. This is hilarious. Whoa, guard break. Kind of thought I'd be out of the way of that. Oh, all right. I think if I get my imps out and I just stay close, that'll work. Um, I'm not going to use the flail. If he can be bled, it's not easy. By the way, absolutely lovely day out. Lots of snow coming down right now. Ooh, rain. I don't know why I said ooh, like that's going to help me somehow. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to... I'm going to cheese him with some magic. I'm going to summon him, or I'm going to summon the imps. I'm going to hit him with Glintstone Pebble as much as I can, which means I need to reconfigure this. That weighs what? That weighs 5? And that weighs 3.5? All right. That's why I couldn't heavy roll. So we're going to get my Glintstone back on. And we're going to use our imps. Yeah, so we're going to summon our imps. We're going to Glintstone Pebble as much as we can. And then we'll just get in... Nice and close. Okay, that's a, that's a nice start. And trees. Oh, criminy. That's all right. Maybe we'll get their att his attention. No, no, no. Switch blue. Oh my gosh. When are you going to remember to switch? Good damage, good damage. Oh, wow, one of them's already dead, though. Yeah, get up there. Oh, whiff. Okay, imp's dead, and I'm about to be as well. Get up there, get up nice and close. Oh, yeah, that's a scary one. Definitely roll out of the way of that one. Huh. Oh. Oh, wow. Big area of effect. We can get this, though. And I know that this might be a uh, Tree Sentinel episode, but I really just want to see what I get out of it. Hopefully it's a lot of runes. You know, and we're going to cheese him with some more magic. For sure. We're going to summon. We're going to Glintstone Pebble. And then I'm going to use my flask. Okay, run. Oh, okay. Time to use that. Okay. 
Okay. If I can actually get his attention on me, my imps can maybe do a little bit of work. And that's exactly what's happening now. Nice thrust. And dodge that. Nice bait. And one more. Okay, now switch. Now, we get up there. Oh, he's already done a number of my imps. I know that we can get him. Boy, I wish I could get some sort of perfect deflection on him or something. Okay. He's really struggling to hit me when you're super close. Oh, he's not struggling now. He stopped struggling. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to heal again. Oh. Okay. No! When did I switch to my staff? Uh, if it wasn't for that, I'd be in pretty good shape. Okay, I like... Oh, I don't like that one. I was wrong. I would like the really, really big rear up. Okay, that works. That... Ooh. Back up. We almost have him. We almost have him. Okay, this is perfect. And we got him. Finally got Tree Sentinel. Enemy fell perfect. Give me a lot of runes, please. 3200 is not significant at all. Golden Halberd, though. Golden Halberd. Oh, gosh. What is that going to take to use? 30 strength and 12 faith. Okay, so this de deals holy damage. Golden Vow is the skill. Masterfully crafted weapon that lives up to its heft, but is difficult for one of mere human strength to wield. No kidding. Wielded by the Order of Tree Sentinels. Heavily equipped knight. So the Golden Vow is a skill passed down from antiquity among the knights of the capital. Raise armament aloft and pledge to honor the Erd Tree in battle. Granting self and nearby alleys increased attack power and defense. Ooh. Okay. That might be something to strive for. Alright, finally. Tree Sentinel is down honestly not that bad once i learned that i just need to really hug him tight he just needed some some love and affection that's all it really is um i can level up i think one time and uh, i hate to do it but i almost need more health it's only 23 points though let's do it let's do it let's at least let's get to 15 15 if not 17 vigor before we start putting anything more into our offensive skills and let's see where we want to go I think I think we'll just kind of head down this away uh, I'm gonna grab these just because it's gonna bother me if I don't even though I know I don't have anything there now that's interesting oh I can't no wait why can't I summon my my spirits because he's dead? That's intriguing. Because it says it's a site of remembrance, right? But just because he died doesn't mean it's no longer a site of remembrance. I don't know what just died there. Alright, little harpy looking thing. Oh, right, one shot them. A 
little marmot looking things. I call them I call them a different animal every time. Oh, hello. Smithing stone. Yep, that's what I'm looking for. Now we got to we got to drop something, right? That broke. That broke meaning death. Just like prism stones of old, if it breaks, it means it is not something that we can survive. I also want to buy some more cracked pots. Oh, hello, waterfall. And you know what? I'm also uh, forgetting. Did I not put my whistle? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna change this up. I need torrent. We, we're not even using torrent. Can you, you can't gather from, you can gather from horseback. You can gather from horseback and that is just great, great news. Kind of want to go down to the beach, you know? Now, can torrent survive long falls like this? No, no, he sure can't. But I had to check, right? Maybe I didn't have to, but kind of had to. All right. Let's get back there. You know what? Actually, let's go back real quick. It, it's Vade, right? I wonder if he has anything new to say. Now that I've seen Stormville Castle... I've met Melina. I have Torrent. Oh, well done. Well done indeed. You made it through that entire mess all the way to Stormvale. And off you trotted to the round table home. My sincerest congratulations. But how did you find the round table. Oh, you don't have to say it. Before, the round table was chock full of venerated warriors. But now, it's home to pop chests and has beans. I fear you've been terribly disappointed. I don't blame you. But still, the round table has its perks. Why not earn a seat? Fly straight and true, so to speak. Uh. Yeah, I'll, I'll fly straight and true. Ah, then you're interested. A wise choice indeed. To join the round table proper, you must acquire a great room and request audience with the two fingers in the inner chamber. They are the purported masters of the grace that guides your kind, the tarnished. Hmm. Yes. Pay them a visit, so that you may see for yourself. Challenge Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale, to acquire a great room. Decrepit he may be, but a demigod he remains. And of course, an inheritor of a great room. Worse yet, I hear old Godric's acquired a ferocious new toy to graft. So, prepare for the worst. What's the matter? Aren't you supposed to be earning? Then you must fail without a with. Okay, so he's just inspired a lot of confidence in me. Um, <laughs> in order to go face a. Uh, Godric, um, you know though, there's one thing that I forgot that I wanted to check. I got that one item. What was it? Was it a key item? It was this, the Chrysalid's Memento. And I wanted to go check with that young lady outside of Stormvale to see if she wanted that. Which also means I need to go to... It's gotta be the shack, right? I am not mad that fast travel is available right away and so often. 
it honestly is uh, very welcome. It does kind of look like her cloak. A pleasure to see you. Did you give the little chrysalids the message that I love them and that despite my craven heart, I'm sure I'll be joining my club soon enough. Aha! Yes, give the chrysalis memento. What's this? A keepsake? From my men? Oh. Miss me? I can't... <laughs> they all... believed in me. They all thought I'd make something of myself, me, who can't do anything. I think I'll head to the round table hold. Perhaps I'll find my purpose there. I think I'll head to have All right. Okay. So we've done that, which is a, a good thing. I believe I keep resting when I don't have to. Now we're going to go to round table hold and see if she is there. And if so, what can she do? Let's see if anything's changed here. Aha! Greetings. Nice to see you again. My name is Roderica. I should have told you sooner. Isn't this place impressive, though? The round table hold. Covert quarters of the two fingers. And gathering place of champions who vie to become Elden Lord. I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us tarnished had such fantastic roots, although it's all a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. Oh, and please allow me to express my thanks for giving me that keepsake from my men. It was as if I was frozen with self-pity. I failed them at every turn. You have my gratitude. Please, take this. Hey, all right. It's all a bit much for me. I'm still... Golden seed. That's fantastic. That was worth it. That was worth it. Sorry for breaking the chair. There we have it. Wonderful. Do we want to reallocate? I think so. I think four and two is good. That's great. And now we're going to head back. Not again, still not going there. We'll go to the, now we'll go to the first step. Actually, we need to go retrieve those runes. It's almost wrapping up point, but I'm actually pretty happy with how this went. Finding, finding that young maiden, Roderica. Roderica is her name. Giving her that memento from the chrysalids, which were her men, and then also getting a golden seed out of that. But more importantly, we actually did kill the tree sentinel. Huh. Do we do less damage from horseback, even with sorceries? Now we have to test this, because I was one-shotting them. Yes. You do... You do less damage while on horseback, which, you know, melee I could kind of see. I'm not so sure I agree with it. Uh, is this poison? No. I don't know that I agree with it with sorceries. Why would that do less damage? This is a very open area. Okay, I do see some enemies, though. Okay. And how about do some... Quinstone. Nope. 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 Flying Dragon Agheel. Really? What kind of damage am I going to do? Not much, you know. Huh. Not how I anticipated this going. And that's too far. I should be using Glintstone Arc just for the range. But that still wasn't enough. And I can chug, which is nice. 
He is not weak to magic, it seems. And... Can I get up close and just whack? Yeah, not for much damage. Ooh! What if I... Hmm. Wowza. I'm gonna try to get under him. I mean, I'm not expecting great things here. Let's be honest. Oh, oh wow. Not great things at all. I could have been summoning my imps there. Next episode, we might give that another attempt. I wasn't doing much damage. Oh. Oh. Where's the stake of America? Right here, right at the dragon. Oh, okay. That's what that little statue symbol under my uh, health bar meant. Well, that's going to do it. <laughs> With the dragon Agil in the background, who's uh, going to slowly walk towards me, that's it for this episode. Hope you're enjoying. Hope you're playing for yourself. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, I will see you, Silverius and I, and Agil, next time.